Hi, my name is Joey Accardo, and I'm the Technical Manager for EpiRock's Surface and Exploration Drills in the U.S. In this segment, we're going to discuss the rock drill oil return relief valve and the strainer that accompanies it and some things to look out for. If you notice air or oil blowing out from the top of the rock drill, a common cause of that is the relief valve found here. The relief valve could be dirty or have debris stuck in it. However, its purpose is, is to vent the pressure in this system so that we do not damage seals or prevent lubrication to the rock drill. The most common cause of this, as we'll show in a moment, is the strainer. The strainer on the rock drill oil recovery line is located here. It acts as a trap to catch any debris that might come out of the front end of the rock drill and prevents it from working its way into the recovery line and back to the tank. This could cause a clog. We're going to remove this, open the strainer, After removing the cap, we can inspect for debris and we can also look at the filter. The debris that we see here is a normal amount and typical. In this case, this is still flowing freely. However, if it were to become packed with debris, it would block off the airflow and waste oil, which would back up into the line and cause the relief valve to vent. So I think we'll go ahead and clean this since we have it apart. The most effective way to clean the screen is using a solvent, such as brake clean. However, before we do that, we want to make sure we're wearing the appropriate gloves, have a vessel to catch the waste in, and obviously safety glasses. Once the screen is properly cleaned, we also want to clean the cap. I'm going to set the screen aside. It's important as well to make sure that the threads are clean. In this case, we have a slight amount of debris on the inside of the strainer. So we're gonna go ahead and spray that clean, especially in that area where the filter is going to seat. We're going to take the filter, place it in, and then gently place the cap. Once the cap is lightly installed, we can finger tighten and then tighten the rest of the way with the ratchet. Sometimes the fitting may move, and then we want to readdress and tighten the, the hydraulic fitting here. And as always, if you need further assistance, reach out to your Epiroc Service Center or dealer.